Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in the game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. If you like our video content and want to show support for Football Game Plan, stop by our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan and don't hesitate to drop a little something, something in the tip jar. It could be one, five, or ever amount you would like to donate to Football Game Plan. Every little bit helps, and we definitely appreciate your support. Devontae Booker is a really good inside runner who doesn't waste time getting north and south. In conjunction with his above average vision, once Booker plants his foot in the ground, he's able to fully accelerate through the hole, which helps him run through waist and chest high arm tackles. A lot of his long runs come off of inside runs because of his ability to fly past a second level defender before making a move outside once he gets to the third level. I like the body lean that Devontae Booker runs with as this aids in his ability to maximize acceleration and break waist-high tackles. A lot of times on film, you'll see Booker move the pile or carry a defender for extra yards, especially if you run up on him high or in a bad tackling position. One special trait that Devontae Booker possesses in this game is the ability to make an effective lateral cut. Now, whether it's a regular one or a lateral jump cut, it allows him the opportunity to patiently press the hole before making the decision to either cut it into the lane, cut it back across the formation, or bounce it outside. Booker does a great job in sucking you in as a defender before making that decision, which nine times out of 10 plays into his favor and gives him an advantage. One area of improvement in Devontae Booker's game that I notice is the fact that he has marginal suddenness once he has to make a decision outside of what could be either a jump cut or have to change direction quickly. I think he's not overly explosive. He has average burst. And if it's not a jump cut, he'll be slow to make that one cut and change direction. That's an element of his game that he's definitely going to have to improve on as he moves forward. Another area where I think he can stand some improvement is getting stronger in the lower part of his body. Too often than not, you'll see Devontae Booker go down or lose his footing in the lower part of his body. His legs are not as strong as you would like. He has to be able to power through these arm tackles. Notice throughout the video, I've talked about waist high or chest high arm tackles that he's able to break because of his good body lean. But on the lower half, he tends to get brought down by arm tackles when they hit him in the legs. And that's something that he's going to have to become a lot better at avoiding once he makes his move to the NFL. In my opinion, Devontae Booker's game compares favorably to Arian Foster of the Houston Texans, a guy that's a slasher, a one-cut downhill type of a runner, a very good receiver out of the backfield with above-average acceleration once he plants and drives through a lane or through a hole. And I believe Booker can do a lot of the same things we've seen Arian Foster do at the NFL level. So Booker ends up rounding out my top five running back prospects in this year's draft class. He has very good all-around skill set. Like I've said before, the vision, the body lean, the inside running ability, and ability to make that lateral cut to get downhill is outstanding. I also believe he's a very good receiver out of the backfield, and he's one of those guys that will get stronger with each and every carry. And in my opinion, like I said before, compares favorably to Arian Foster and is definitely worthy of a second-round grade.